Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're not working on a boat, but we are working on Dad's uh, skid steer. It's a Caterpillar 236, and we are working on going to be troubleshooting this nasty oil leak. We got uh, looks like the culprit is going to be this uh, hydraulic cooling fan. I've never seen anything like this before, but um, this seems to be leaking pretty bad, quite obviously. I cleaned this up the other day, probably about two days ago, and then it just became a humongous mess. So what we're going to be doing is taking this out and replacing the seal on, on the fan itself, on the fan motor itself. I don't know if you can call it a motor. Uh, it doesn't look too hard to get out just four bolts for the shroud and take this apart or uh, this part. take apart the hydraulic lines on it and catch all the oil that falls and should come on out so this is what we're gonna do So we finally got this fan shroud and hydraulic fan motor off and uh, you saw how difficult that was. Did label these, put a two here and a one here and I labeled the corresponding hoses uh, the same way so I know which way they go back on. Um, looks like it's just these two 16 millimeter bolts and this thing will come out and then we can get to the seal. All right, so we got the seal out, and uh, yeah, that looks pretty chewed up. Um, in order to get it out, I had to split this apart. There's two or four 13 more millimeter bolts, and this thing split right apart. Super simple. Came right on out. So what we'll do is get this cleaned up, put the new seal in, and start putting everything, cleaning everything up, and putting it back together. Okay, so we got the seal in, and this is the seal for our 2001-236. And we also got the O-rings for here, as well as on the uh, cooling lines on the radiator. That's the part number for that. And the cooling line for the radiator, that's the part number for that. So this is going to be pretty simple. We should just be able to hammer this in with a socket and just start putting everything back together.
got the pump put back on the shroud. Uh, got the fan cleaned up and the shroud cleaned up. Uh, it was God, it was just dirty. I didn't obviously fill that because it wasn't really going to be worthy watching me clean. Um, it's not that exciting. So basically, it's just the reverse process of uh, taking this off. We're going to put it on. Hopefully, I don't struggle as bad as I did put, taking it off or putting it on as I did taking it off. So, all right, I'm going to put this on and uh, check for leaks. Got the uh, the cooling lines to the radiator back on. Um, I almost had trouble lining them up, but I got them. Uh, now all it is now to check for leaks. Uh, fill I'll fill it up and check for leaks and uh, clean this engine off. Now I did my best to try not to make a mess, but I can only do so much. And this was a very messy job. Hopefully we can prevail. And not have any more leaks from this fan motor so all right we'll fill it up and uh fire it up and see what we got